Hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Photoshop template for socks for Redbubble. So here I am in this uh, Redbubble uh, pl uh, platform and I have uploaded this design which you might have seen in my previous videos as well. But before I go into uh, explaining this, let me show you some of the examples of uh, socks on Redbubble. So here you can see that uh, there are different socks available and all of these socks uh, have a pattern type of design uh, on them. So socks are those kind of uh, one of those products where a pattern design would uh, look good on them and it would uh, uh, fit nicely in this red bubble platform if you have a pattern design you can easily upload easily upload it and then uh, use it on, on your socks uh, but what happens if you don't have a pattern design so in this video we are going to uh, create a template for uh, those cases in which you don't have a pattern design or maybe you have a t-shirt design and you want to use one of the elements of, from that t-shirt design into on the socks uh, so you can see that uh, as a, in, on this example of red bubble that patterns look good on these socks and uh, we are not going to create a pattern in, in this video but we are going to uh, create a template uh, where we can use one of the elements of t-shirt or maybe a complete t-shirt design uh, for our socks. So uh, let's get uh, back to this example where I have uploaded this design. So one thing I can do is that I can use this pattern generator on their platform and I can uh, turn it into a regular grid form and uh, you know that can look uh, good or not depending upon your design and so in this case it looks uh, well, uh, I would say it looks kind of okay, uh, but we want to just uh, you know improve it a bit, and also you can uh, tile, uh, use another option of tiling uh, and uh, try that as well. Uh, but still, uh, it might uh, not look that great. So for some cases this would work, and for some cases this would not work, and most probably in those cases where you have some kind of text here or maybe in a different more than one element or something like that another thing that you might have noticed here is that uh, uh, they don't provide any kind of template uh, that we can use for these socks so um, that is kind of a drawback here and because of this thing uh, we are going to create our own template uh, for uh, uh, these socks and uh, for this purpose uh, 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 we will we are going to use this portion of their uh, designer area and uh, let me show you something else uh, before that so here on, on on the bottom here you can see that they have this kind of tip here that how to design a great uh, great product so if you click here you go to their article where they suggest different things uh, about you know transparency and all that and, uh, and and in there they have this uh, link that is dimensions and format so if you click this dimensions and format you will go to this article where you will be able to see the different dimensions and also will be able to download different uh, templates that they have provided for different products but unfortunately for some products they don't have any uh, templates provided and socks are one of them so you can see there is no template but for women airline dress they have a template provided that you can download actually and also for leggings so for some products they have templates for some products they don't so in this case we are going to use uh, we are going to create a template for socks so we have to create our own template but this is something that can help us in creating that template and that is the dimensions of the image that they require and that is this size and uh, together using with this size requirement and then this image template we are going to create our socks design so for this purpose if you are creating a template i would suggest you to use a firefox browser because there is a built-in screenshot you can say an add-on or what you can say a feature that we are going to use so if you go here on these three dots and click here and then you can take a screenshot now we can uh, when you hover over different areas it will be automatically be able to select that particular window or particular area and you can uh, download that particular picture or you can use a complete uh, uh, you know picture of the whole thing but instead of uh, taking a screenshot of all of that area we are going to take a screenshot of this area this template only 
so when you hover over this template you can see that there are dotted boundaries around that template only so once we click here it selects only that template area so once we download it we'll be able to use that particular area for our own template so now i have opened that template or you can say that screenshot uh, image in photoshop and i'm going to create a template from uh, this image so uh, but before i go that we need to create a new document and then we are going to use uh, there is these dimensions this thing 5848 uh, x 6300 so we are going to put this dimension into our documents so we are going to create 5848 and 6300 and 300 pixels per inch uh, let me check again so that this is right so 5848 and 6300 okay so guys after completing that tutorial i found a little mistake uh, early on that i have made in that tutorial video so uh, uh, and uh, and the mistake is that the size that they have mentioned here is that 6300 x 5848 pixels but the size requirement in the in their this requirements page and dimensions format page that they have mentioned is that 5848 x 6300 so they have reversed the dimensions or you can say horizontal and vertical sizes uh, and i have used this one in the tutorial video early on and that caused a little problem here but if you use this one 6300 you won't have any you won't face any kind of trouble using the screenshot and let me show you here so i'm going to create a new one new document and 6300 and then 5848 so now we are in the correct dimension so now when i have uh, dragged this screenshot onto this image and then i resize it it fits perfectly you know and now we can use this uh, screenshot and this uh, template and start creating our template so sorry about that and uh, hopefully uh, now the tutorial will actually make sense a little bit better so i'll just go to uh, grab this uh, image and put it here and then i'll just try to i will resize it and i am going to put it on this area on this leg area here and uh, so that it's visible on the front and uh, here we have put this one on image we are going to press ctrl j and create a copy of this and then drag and drop uh, on the other side of this leg what i wanted is to you know put the uh, design on this uh, on this area of the uh, socks not on the uh, on the you know foot area of the uh, socks so this is something that we have just created now so oh, what we can do is that we can create a background for this uh, for our template you know select like different background or whatever actually we will be able to change the background once we upload this design uh, so uh, let's leave it that uh, so this is the easiest thing that you can do you can again go to creating copies and then uh, you know uh, drag and drop them and put them towards the bottom area of these legs so that totally depends on you and how would you like to see your design on the socks so this is what i would usually do i would create uh, this thing so uh, um, so this is the basic thing this is all you need you need so you will just uh, hide this background here and then save it as a temp uh, as a png image and upload it on that uh, you know uh, redbubble platform for socks and uh, if you go a little st uh, a step further you can create uh, you can make this design even more interesting and what i mean by that is uh, let me show you some of the examples so if you go to google and search uh, minimalist uh, minimalist pattern or minimal patterns so you will be able to see different pattern designs that are very um, you know minimal style and some, very few elements uh, just some geometric elements so you can use uh, 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 these type of style for as a background for your uh, socks design and let me show you i have just uh, created one of these patterns you know just a limited uh, minimal style geometric shapes things let me go to edit and save it as a pattern swatch so now when i go to this uh, template that i have just created uh, you can go to uh, this uh, new fill layer and then go to the pattern style so now i have created a pattern i can just scale it down a bit let's make it 80 percent okay let's increase uh, it further maybe 60 percent or so something like that so i have put a pattern behind that thing and let me choose a background color that i would like 
to uh, for the socks let's select uh, the main color of this one and make it a bit let's say a darker so here we are on this uh, you know pattern fill layer and if we change the blend mode to some other interesting thing let's say multiply or overlay or something like that uh, we can create an interesting design from this one and also if we change the background make a bit lighter one and uh, that might look interesting and uh, you know choosing different things and uh, changing the blend options uh, can give you some interesting results and if you don't find any kind of interesting result uh, from this okay i think divide looks much better here and let's and decrease the opacity a bit further and uh, let's make it more darker so and that totally depends upon what kind of color you want and what kind of design you want as a background so if you combine your uh, design elements with some kind of background and with a little bit of um, you know minimal style kind of patterns and adjust their um, uh, you know you can see opacity and blend modes uh, you will be able to create some interesting design and uh, put it on the socks let me uh, just uh, save it and uh, this one and uh, put it on the socks so the design that we have just created and put it on the socks uh, you can see that how it looks and if we adjust their uh, position actually we shouldn't adjust it and make it you know we can increase the size and uh, whatever that is so we can change that uh, change this thing and then adjust the you know brightness of our pattern and the background color accordingly as we would you know uh, like for our own design and depending upon your design and depending upon your likeness how would you like to change it so that totally depends upon you so in this way you can uh, create some kind of interesting patterns and interesting and uh, designs for the socks and also you can use these type of templates again and again for your uh, future use for your own elements so these type of um, templates will help you to use those designs which you might have created for much by amazon uh, t-shirts or for any other platform that you might have so you can use one of those elements from that t-shirt design a particular design and put it on the socks to create some kind of matching interesting feel to it so hopefully you have found this video to be helpful if so make sure that you like the video and if you would like to see similar type of videos regarding e-commerce and online business make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you can be notified about my future videos as well and thank you for watching